Hello guys, um, welcome back to another tutorial. I know it's been a while since I made the tutorial, so I actually came up with something I know that will be very useful to all illustrators out there. Um, I've not really tried this on Photoshop, but I'll still try it. So this is basically, you can see from the title, this is basically about um, large working with large file size. So I will show you how to bypass that, how to actually save your file in a way that you will still have your your layers and everything you're working with, but at the same time you don't take up much space on your hard disk. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now I have this collab I worked on recently with a friend of mine. So I'll open that up in Illustrator. So wait for it to load. So this is actually the file we work. This is um, a Juice World collaboration I worked on with my friend. So this is what the actual artwork looks like. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. So this is my part. This is that of my friend. So we actually worked on this and let me show you the file size. Okay, let me save this first. File, save. So you can see everything is checked. Um, you have all layers visible. Let's just save that, then we'll go back and check. The, the, let me refresh this. So we click. Right, click. Let's go to properties. So you can see this is 24.8 MB. So this is the size of um, this file on your disk so i want to save this file um and then we'll check the file size so what you need to do before you save any file if you want to actually free up space on your um on your hard disk make sure you turn this off if possible turn everything off can leave one on I don't know but turn everything off and then save it now you're going to notice that this is going the file size is going to reduce and it's going to actually save very fast if you can see it saved within seconds now let's go back let's refresh and then let's check the properties now you can see 412 KB. Now this kilobyte, this is the size of this file on your hard disk. So you've saved, you went from 24 MB to 412 kilobyte. Now that's a huge space you're saving. Now imagine if you should do this for all the files, all your Illustrator files, you'll be able to save if you have a lot of files, you'll be able to save a huge amount of space on your hard drive. Now, it's still the same thing. Let's close this. It's still the same file. Whenever you open this back up, you still have your files ready. So the only thing you have to do is just to um, click on this to enable the visibility. That's all. You still have your files. Everything is still intact. So this is really going to help out in um, saving space for you while working on files like Illustrator files, especially large files. You understand? So that's it, guys. I hope this actually helps. And also, while working on while working on your on your illustrations and you probably use a complex 
she let's say the lightning the, the lightning i used on this my artwork really it was really um taking up space like it's i think it was about 10 mb or so so what i did when i added it to my illustration i ticked this off so the visibility was off and then i could easily work on every other thing i was doing so when you're working with files and you feel like you want to actually work on a particular side let's say you want to work on the leaves let's say you want to work on the leaves you can switch these other ones off and then work on your leaves it will be way much faster especially if you're using a low-end pc and you want to work very fast because if you should leave everything on it's going to slow down your process so i really hope this helps and i'm trying to like keep the video very short so that i don't end up with it so i have a couple of um other tips i'll be sharing very soon that are really really helpful and I hope that this helps someone out there. So thanks for watching and please subscribe, like and share this video. I still have more videos that I'm dropping very soon. Thanks.